Right, let's welcome to the stage. He was great in the first half, he's great still now. Jonathan Eyre. Yeah. <laughs> Random order. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I read this poem through just a minute ago and I thought it actually doesn't quite work, but um, I think we need to have more compassion to ourselves <coughs> about how we don't respond to all the terrible things in the way perhaps we should. This is a poem about that. It's called The Corpse in the Corner of All Our Eyes. We squirm at spiders on the floor and squeal. Rats make us hitch up our clothes and call out, something must be done. But we sit watching celebrities eating squiggly wiggly insects for star points and fail to gobble at children starving. That is too, too much. A bad taste in the mouth, bad and inappropriate television, yet children die every minute and warfare kills and squirming at nasty things is normal. But diversion rating wars and media coded decency are raging. You may look me in the eye and ask me, am I any better? Embracing the trivial to our hearts to stop them hurting. Bleeding from our mind's eye that children die. The mother's grief howls and whimpering silence because we just can't get ourselves to act together. As our feelings are too precious to see what's real. Humanity with media's help. Together we wrap the body in a shroud, deftly arrange the curtains to hide the corpse in the corner of all our eyes, communicating together to dazzle out the unacceptable. I am no better. Say this out loud. I am no better. But that is no excuse for you or me. This machine of entertainment designed to cross over the pits of hell. The armoured tank of trench warfare. Truth, the infantry soldiers bogged down in a killing ground. Marked out by the media generals. Spun by the patriots making the countries great again. Who live for the greatness of it all. It's really great. An emote on the brave injured and killed. Sleepwalking through Wars in which we cannot now see the millions of innocent civilians dead. But in our minds we can still see peeping the corpse in the corner of all our eyes. Humans over time have committed the heinous barrel bomb atrocities, land taking, ethnic cleansing and killing, men raping the pretty, whatever makes them horny, killing the old, ugly and the babies, burning our souls to fight for precious rights. Bloodlines that are all in fact human. But never before have we known the world width of injustice. Never before have we had so much capital and communication at our hand and we still stand quietly in the viewing big wheel, high up above it all, to agree with Orson Welles, the third man, that down there they are all so insignificantly small that we can snuff out a few of them without worrying, <coughs> noticing. We are tightly muffled by the enormity of our own life problems. We will all simply forget them. It is far too difficult to remember <coughs> the corpse that is peeping in the corner of our eyes. The corpse that is peeping in the corner of our eyes. Remember. Please. Remember. The poem that triggered that one was the one I wrote for my father when he died in January 06. I said it at his funeral. So that's um, 11 years ago. And uh, yeah, so this is the poem that I wrote to me dad. Washing away those tears. 
We all see people differently from where we each do stand, and sometimes too emotionally close we suffer from intimate bad sightline. The cutting razor of challenging intellect, the drive of passion in our blood, divide us behind pools of stagnant, unasked questions and sea barriers of emotional, <coughs> soft, unbidden mud. They hold back parental closeness with a ruthless, smothering, cold hand. And time, the healer through learning, or pacifier through memory's gradual loss, either sharpens one's true feelings or blunts us with soft <coughs> blows of so much dross. The reaper's arm is moving closer, farther taken in this year's crop. My love for the old man has flown stronger. As the sandbanks and marshes he was safe behind are swept away by the flood tide of my grieving tears, howls and sobs. Thank you very much.